I'm Tom Jones from St. Petersburg Times, joined by Times sports columnist John Romano. And John, the Lightning fans' long national nightmare is over. Brian Lawton has been fired as general manager of Lightning, as has Rick Tockett, the head coach. And when I say the nightmare, obviously I'm kidding, but I'm speaking more about, I think, Brian Lawton than I am about Rick Tockett. I don't think fans had a huge problem with Rick Tockett, although I think he deserved to go as well. But Brian Lawton, I think if you look back at his tenure with the Lightning, it was not really a good one, was it? No, and, and I don't think there was anybody really defending him. I don't think there was anybody in the locker room defending him. I don't think there were any other people in the Lightning front office defending him. The, the only shock to me is that it took this long. I mean, it, it took almost 12 hours after the last game to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, and, and then obviously Rick Tockett goes too. Your thoughts on Tockett being, uh, being fired? I felt the same way you did. I, I thought there was a possibility Tockett may stick around, but I think in the end, the way the team just collapsed toward the end of the season, I think the lack of production of Vinny LeCavier really hurt Tockett. Um, I, I think Jeff Vinnick just wanted a fresh slate to start with. What did Vinnick say this morning in the, in the news conference about, repla about replacing these two guys? Where do they go from here? He kept talking about chain of command, and and, and that's a real big signal as to how unhappy he was with the way things were with Tockett and with uh, Brian Lawton, that he said the, the CEO, the CEO he's going to hire is going to report directly to him. The GM is going to report to the CEO. The head coach is going to report to the GM. Players to the to the G to, to, to the, the coach, coach right. to the coach, um, and he was very big on that. That everybody is going to have their specific duties, and that's how they're going to go forward. See, I, I'm not necessarily married to the fact that the CEO and the general manager. I, I think you could hire those two guys separately and simultaneously. I think the G GM position is going to be the most important one. Two guys that I like. I don't know if they're interested in a job. Steve Eiserman, the the GM of the Canadian Olympic team, and Doug Risebrow, the former Minnesota Wild GM, who put together a pretty good team in Minnesota, an expansion team. This is better than an expansion team. How important, which of these jobs do you think is the most critical for Lightning, the CEO, the GM, or the coach? I, I think the GM is, is the most important job. I think, uh, you know, a CEO is, is more of an overseer of the entire organization. The head coach can only be as good as the players he's got. It's the GM's job to bring in better players for this team, more depth on the front lines, better players on defense, maybe even another goaltender. How quickly can this team get good with new leadership? You know, they, they keep talking about next year's they're going to be fine. There's a chance that they're going to be contenders again next year. I'm not sure it can be put together quite that quickly. You know, I would say two years down the line, but then you're looking at, you know, Marty's contract ends next year. Vinny's going to be two years older then. They do need to move with some urgency. All right, that's John Romano, Times Sports Columns. Be sure to check out his column on the Lightning Moves on TampaBay.com and in the St. Petersburg Times.